Okay, from their humble beginnings when they were created 150 years ago, Levi's has grown into a $4 billion company. I remember from the time I'm two years old, I've been wearing Levi's. I'm still wearing them on occasion. Because there's so many competitors today, the challenge for Levi's is to get the message out that they're more than just selling Levi's 501 jeans. Your task is to get that message out. You are going to be developing an in-store promotional catalog. You'll have access to world-renowned photographers and also experts at Yellowfin Graphics. Tomorrow night, you'll present your catalogs to Robert Hansen. He's the president of Levi's. The team to deliver the most innovative and exciting catalog based on Robert's sole decision will be the winner. Losers, as usual, we'll see you in the boardroom. Somebody will be fired. And as you can see, Bill this week will be replacing George, who's away on a business trip. And Carolyn, as always, is with us, so they'll be my eyes and ears. Do well. I hope you do a good job for Levi's. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Wes pushed me away for different reasons. I had an exemption, but he pushed me away because he was afraid to go to the boardroom with me, with or without an exemption, because I'm stronger than he is. Hi. Ooh. Welcome to our team, Kelly. All right. Let's see what we can do. Yep. I was confident that with Kelly on board, we have a good team. I actually felt good about being project manager, about having the control finally. I've mentioned that I wanted to be project manager several times to the rest of my team. And Ivana said, you know, I'd love you, Kevin, if you were project manager. Jan said, and I support that. And that's how I became project manager. Hey, what is it again? A promotional magazine or catalog? It's a catalog. I think we all agree on fit, whether yeah. it's perfect so, fit. So definitely or... the fit. Right. We need to show we need to show the versatility in the brand in terms of the different cuts. We need to show somehow that you know there is a cut for everyone. I have an idea. It doesn't have to be like a, a traditional catalog. It could be a fit wheel where you have all the stuff on the wheel on the front, and on the back it's a wheel of the different size and si cuts sizes and, and stuff. Right. And you know what I mean? So it's like yes. I was like, aha! I was like, you guys, you guys, you guys, I got it. You know, like let's make a wheel that turns. It's like it's like a, a, a gene selector. What we might be able to do is actually put some artistic photos inside the uh, catalog just to show the genes and different personalities. Mm -hmm. The task was to create a prototype of an in-store catalog that Levi's was going to use to help uh, bring in consumers. We arrived at the photo studio and we just had to get organized. We wanted to find out what clothes were going to look good on everybody and, and get everybody situated. Hello. Hey, what's going on? You want to be able to help the consumer feel good about the jeans, that those jeans are for them. You don't do that by putting models up there who weigh 110 pounds and, and don't look like it, you know 99% of the people that walk around this world. You do that by having real people up there that people can identify with. You ready? Do they, yeah, let's uh... do it. So we made a decision to put ourselves in the print ads. You can laugh now, yeah, yeah, there we go. We're a diverse group of people. We've got different body types, different attitudes, and I thought it would show well in the campaign. That really was about being diverse and outfitting everyone. So cute again. Hey, that's all good. Yeah. What's the first thing you think about when you try on a pair of jeans? And we all said, oh, well, how does it make us look in the rear? So don't move. These jeans are all about making this look good, and we really wanted to focus on that. Hey, like, oh, that was good. Yeah. We can do it. I mean, let's just try a couple. Oh, we can do it. Smokes. <laughs> Cha -cha. <laughs> when Jen walked out with her hair and face all made up and these tight little jeans and a t-shirt, I was like, oh, was he talking about? I think that looks good. Have a black mirror. <laughs> I think with that tank top. And she's uh, rolling around on the mat over there like she's done this a hundred times. And then chin down a little bit. I feel like she knows what she's doing. Jen is the perfect kind of person I need to be a model. <laughs> I think Jen would make a great model. She's really attractive, and she can manipulate her persona in any way, and that's what you want in a, in a model. You want them to be able to act on, on at the drop of a pin, and I think that's what she does. Do we got enough back shots? Spin around. Let's see. Yeah, that's a good shot. Money shot right there.
Um, give me what, just one hand in? There yeah, I guess cool. some of them. I have very little experience dealing with models and photo shoots, so put some added pressure on me, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lift your arms up so we see the jeans. You got some movement. Yeah, just keep it up just like that. Right there, right there. That's pretty cool, cool. Are those jeans too tight for him? Too loose? Wait a minute, girls. Does yeah. this make sense to do a big group shot if we have multiple jeans in the same shot? We need some of these shots. We're going to work them in as we can. Yes. It's, it's, so, okay, here's what I need for you to do, and then you two, can you get me, I need for her bra not to show. Can you make sure really? that that happens? I that was... Hey, I'm a do. Hi. <gasps> This is great. Can I take this with me? Yeah, sure, you can take both of these in the meantime. Okay. I'll just fix the side. Awesome, you're the best. I was looking at the denim pocket and our slogan of the original Levi's, the perfect fit, fit wheel, the perfect fit, and I'm like, hey, the fit guy could fit in your pocket. I'm like, duh, put the fit wheel inside of the denim pocket, which is really our catalog, and that's when it all came together. Now, if I go in there, all right, I'm gonna have my laptop here, and I have all this right in front of me. We finally get everything done, and it's time for the presentation. I gotta be honest, what? if you're not gonna wear jeans, then you should just go all out suit to show that we're doing it out of respect, not that we forgot to wear jeans. I think it's cool like it is. I think it's cool like it is. Okay. okay. Hello, Team Mosaic. Hello. Hello. This is Tracy King. She's the vice president of sales for women. Hi, and president. Nick Coe is the uh, vice president of merchandising on the men's side of the business. So, what do you got to show us? Well, what if the jeans could talk? What kind of story would the jeans tell about the person who's wearing them? They're saying, I'm authentic. They're saying, what's not to love? And the catalog speaks for itself as well. Here's what we wanted to do. First of all, our goal was to get into the mind of consumer, and you know that was actually simple because we are your consumer. So we thought it was important to first of all tell the story. And this tells the story about the fact that you've been around for a long time, and in fact you've been the leaders in making jeans, and that people want to be you, and that's a really cool thing. And then we put this beautiful, <laughs> she's now seven feet tall here, um, <laughs> Jana, this is actually one of the bandanas in your store. Someone in one of your shops created this top, and we went ahead and put her in this and then the gentleman helped us create this skirt out of a pair of 501 men's jeans. And why on a woman? And why not on a woman? If being sexy is wrong then I don't want to be right. <laughs> Maria dominated the entire presentation. She said a lot of things that I would not have said. A lot of things that I'm sure Wes so, um, so did not want said and it was just not good for the team. Most of the product that you've got in the catalog are actually um, front shots with the exception of one. What was your thinking there? We got a lot of butt shots, <laughs> a lot of butt shots. The jeans were, they were fitting more loosely than we would have liked for a really solid butt shot. Maria cut out all the butt shots because she didn't think that they were perfect. Maria lobbied that she knew what she was doing as far as the pictures were concerned, and she let me down in this respect. Thank you, I think you guys did a good job. My initial reaction, I think you tried to accomplish a lot, and I just need to think about that. The only other thing I would say is you, you dressed casually, but not everyone's dressed in Levi's jeans. So and what's there is up a with reason that? for that. Yeah. Not even 30 minutes before we got ready to come on, um, there was not a way for us to purchase them. The only thing I'd say to you is planning ahead next yeah. time, you guys. Yeah. At least you tried. We appreciate that. Okay, Thank great. You. Thank you. Thank right. you. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Let's see what the other team has to say. Hello. Hello, oh. Team Apex. How are you? I'm well, and you? I feel good. <laughs> I've seen it change uh, the closing. Absolutely, had to do it. Okay, go ahead. This company is about jeans. This company started the category. Perfection is the best way to describe this pair of jeans. Perfect fit, perfect for any time. I thought Kevin came off as, as pretty aggressive in the presentation. I mean, he was sweating, and he was extremely fired up, though. Our team, we sat back, we talked about it, and we wanted to bring you a catalog. So I was really worried about that. that puts in it was just really disgusting, and hopefully they didn't take that in the wrong way, or hopefully they didn't feel intimidated. And we want something that was going to be able to continue to build the brand loyalty uh, and continue to draw in customers as you've been doing for 150 years. And you know what? I'm just going to let Ivana take this away and, and just get right into it. What's the first thing you look at when you try on a pair of jeans? The butt. <laughs> so we took that to heart and we thought, hey, let's make a promotional catalog that's based on the seat of the pants. Basically, we're saying the original Levi's, always the perfect fit. 
I know some of those people. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, real jeans for real people. We wanted to put a different spin on the fit guide. Hmm. So we're saying to help you achieve that perfect fit, it basically lists all the different fits for women and men, and you just sort of rotate it around to see all the available um, choices you have. So how'd you come up with your idea? What got you to the point where like, this is what you wanted to do? We know that the jeans are something that men and women have problems and difficulty in trying to find the perfect fit. So we're gonna, we're gonna solve that problem by grabbing the customer at the door. We're gonna be the, the first stop. Ivana, having been the creative force behind it, was really the only one who could answer the question. But Jen shot in there and decided that she was gonna basically try to take credit for Ivana's idea. It's gonna help them interface and interact with the, with the store clerk. Um, they can go in there and actually say, this is what I'm looking for. This is I had to wait for Jen to stop talking in order to get my point across. I didn't want to cut her off, but a couple of times I had to because she was delivering the wrong answer. What's, what's most important to me about my jeans? What's going to make me keep coming Robert, back? I think you've helped us launch a really creative brainstorm, and then we collaboratively just started feeding off of that. I think you guys did a really good job. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you all. Yeah, okay. Thank you much. All right. Nice to see you. Hello. Donald. Hi. Hello, Robert. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. And I have my girlfriend. She's wearing your jeans. Those look fantastic wow. on you. How are things going? Great. We got some good work. I think the team's uh, worked really hard, and we were just about to bring them in. Very good. First to arrive, Team Apex. <laughs> team Mosaic. So, Apex did a really, really good job on this piece. You started immediately reinforcing what the brand positioning is. It's all about um, the butt, and you delivered that in the piece that you put together really cleverly. This piece accomplishes the second goal that we had, which was to communicate the category-leading range of jeans that we have for men and women, and you nailed that perfectly. We think the piece, it doesn't have as much of the wow factor. It's not as sexy as we would like it to be, but overall, we think you did a really good job, so well done. Mosaic. We think you did a great job in communicating the sexiness of the brand. There are some things about this that we don't think you did well. We don't think that you delivered a clear communication of the fit range. We don't think that you balanced the truth about the Levi's brand that it is for young and old male and female. And for that reason, Apex, you win. <laughs> oh my God, finally. <laughs> good job, Apex, that's very good.